salut tout le monde. It's Charlie from Street French. And today we're going to be talking about how long it takes to get fluent in French. And I'm also going to talk to you about someone that I met that spoke French really well after like one year of study. It was crazy. So I'm here on Ile Saint-Louis, right by Notre Dame. It's not looking so good today, but yeah, that fire was about a year ago. It was crazy. So we got this really cool message on Instagram. And so this person watched a video of ours that we made a few weeks ago about understanding spoken French and how long that takes. If you haven't already, make sure you check out that video. I'll leave a link to it down in the description. So I think this person was a little bit confused. Like they didn't understand entirely what I was talking about. I told the story of how long it took me to get really good at understanding spoken French. And they're asking how long it takes to get fluent. So first of all, I'd say that there's a difference between like fluency and maybe being conversational. I think probably most people would be happy just being conversational, being able to hold a conversation in French. More or less anywhere, in any situation, you can hang in French. Like you can get by and you know, with relative ease. And that's probably what most people would be happy with. And especially most people that I meet, you know, I've taught hundreds of, of private French lessons over the years. And most people I meet, that's generally what they're looking for. There are a few people who really want to be fluent, like as good as they can be. But generally, I think people would be happy being conversational to start. So to tell you a little bit about my process, first, I studied French at university for like two years. And at the end of the two years, I was okay, but I wasn't really good at holding a conversation. Then I went to a French meetup every week for like two years. And after that, that's when I really learned how to converse. And I could speak French really well. I mean, pretty well, like I could hold a conversation and I was good. And then I came to Paris and I met Maya. And then I learned even more, of course, you know, she taught me a ton. And then I live with her now, you know, we've been together for, for a while. For me, it took me about two years of academic French and like two years of just practicing conversation and just practicing using the language. That's how long it took me to get pretty good at it. But it really depends on you and like how much time you have to put into French and kind of like where you're at in life. For me, I was a student, so I didn't really have any major responsibilities and I had a lot of time to dedicate to it. Whereas now I teach private French lessons and sometimes I work with people who just moved to Paris and they're professionals and they're very busy people. Some of them have kids and they don't have a lot of time to dedicate to learning French. And they're also like a bit older, they're maybe like late 30s. And all of this plays a factor. It, it just makes it that much more difficult to learn French. And I also teach people who are like retired and I find that they tend to have a, a difficult time learning French in a lot of ways, especially if they're like in their 60s or something and it's like their first time learning a second language. It, you know, it's, it can be tricky. So my advice is if you're a student right now, really take advantage of, of the time that you have to, to learn a language because when you get older, when you have a job and you have bills and you know, your life becomes like a bit more serious. You know, you don't have as much time to dedicate to learning a language. I mean, that's, at least that's what I find with the people that I work with. So the other thing is that I find people tend to only focus on like academic French. They don't practice using it. They don't practice improvising in the language. And that's why when they get into a conversation with someone, that's why they struggle so much because they don't practice it enough. They'll practice filling out exercises and worksheets and taking tests, but they don't practice actually using the language, actually conversing with someone. And that's why, I mean, it's, it's only logical that they're not that good at it because they don't do it enough. And so if your goal is to be conversational, I would really recommend that you spend a good amount of time speaking the language with someone. Um, there are apps like HelloTalk, Tandem. We have a Facebook conversation group. There are so many ways that you can find someone to practice French with. It's really gonna make all the difference. Again, if, if that's your goal, if you want to be conversational, if you want to be fluent, you have to practice using the language. I mean, this reminds me of my friend Henry, and he was actually one of my first private students in Paris. So I would meet with him about three times a week, and we would spend an hour conversing, and I would teach him how to, to use the language, like how to speak conversational French. The thing is that he would go way out of his way to actually use the language with other people, not just me. So 
he was doing three hours with me and he would just speak a ton. Like he would go into a store and he'd be like, oh, c'est combien ça? Oh, c'est cher. Ah, bah, dis donc. And like he would just speak French all the time. And after that year, he was really, really good. And again, he still had an American accent. He would still make errors sometimes. But the point is that he could hang in the conversation, that he could totally handle more or less any situation that came up. But again, we got to look at where was he in life? He was 19 years old. He was a student. So he was kind of, you know, he was studying in France, right? So he could hear French all day long. He was taking three hours of lessons with me a week for like a year. Then he would go way out of his way to practice what he learned with me. And I mean, that's how he learned French so quickly. Again, if you don't live in France, that's not a problem. I know people who live in France who only speak English. All their friends are, you know, they speak English and they never use the language. If you're really serious about it, like I said, you can find someone online to practice with, like with HelloTalk. Oh, sh sorry, technical difficulties. So just to wrap up, I think it's totally possible for you to get really good at French, like conversational, I mean, almost fluent or like, you know, just very, very good at the language within like a year or two. But it really depends on where you're at in life, how much time you have to devote to speaking French, to learning French. It also depends on how good you are at learning languages. Maybe if you have experience learning another language like Spanish or something, that's really important and that can help you a lot as well. So again, thank you so much for asking that question on our Instagram. If you want, go ahead and check us out on Instagram. We post daily. We're always posting cool stuff, cool new videos, things to help you learn conversational French. If you want to get better at French and you want to find some French speaking friends and learn some techniques that you can use, go ahead and try our free e-course at streetfrench.org. It's free and we'll show you how you can find someone to practice with and what kind of techniques you can use with them. If you enjoy what we do, please consider supporting us on Patreon. We have almost 60 patrons, I think, on there right now. It's really cool. Thank you all so much for supporting us. You know, our patrons really make this project possible and we have a good time over there. We have a secret Patreon group chat. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share with your friends. Please, it really helps us a lot. We have almost 60,000 um, subscribers on YouTube. Yeah, thank you all. It really means a lot to us. If you have any questions, let us know down in the comments below. Okay, salut.